Here's the stunning moment for the visiting Philadelphia 76ers. That's my forward, Matisse Bible. And the other forward position, Tobias Harris. And shooting guard, Tyrese Maxey. Under one position, James Harden. At center, Joel Embiid. The head coach of the visiting team is Doc Rivers. Thank you, David. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. Front court is Thibault and Harris. Harden out there with Maxi, and it's Embiid in at the five, roaming the paint. And for Chicago, Williams and Vucevic hold down the post for him. The wing set for him, Levine and DeRozan. And it's Ball in at point guard. And Greg, we're still very early in the season. What are these teams right now doing to maintain success through the year? Well, this is the time for coaches to experiment with lineup combinations. And for the players, it's important they learn each other's tendencies and, and try and work on building chemistry. Now here is Harris. Here's MP. Great team that time for Vucevic. And so it's Ball who brings the ball up for the Chicago Bulls. They're like They were ready to compete and contribute. You know, Greg, we talk a lot about Ball's offense, but his defense is just as important to this team. Oh, Kevin, very disruptive. He has terrific positional size, and he can anticipate where the offense is going. The first free throw is good. Well, certainly Clark, the 76ers, the past few seasons, have given their fans plenty to feel good about. Yeah, and you know, those Philly fans are really hard to please. They have great expectations and knowledge to go along with it. Uh, but you're right. I mean, it's been much easier to look on the bright side in Philly recently. The talent and results have been trending up in recent years. Ball hits them both. 
And what makes Chicago tricky to defend, Kevin, they just have such a balanced attack. They can score in the paint from mid-range or hurt you from deep. Now, here is Harden. Here's Harris. And he uses the glass on the lane. It's so smooth and fluid with the rock in his hands. It's clear Harris enjoys making these kinds of moves. And I like watching them, too. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. And that's what a coach loves to see in a close game. Just put your head down and make something happen. Here's DeRozan. Tobias Harris picking up that last basket. DeRozan. Rebound by Joel B. You know, as the Bulls have become a more veteran team, Greg, it feels like they've settled into what they do well. And you need a strong identity to be successful in this league. Chicago is building towards that, but it does take time. Now, here's Thibault following the miss by DeRozan. Five to shoot. Over Williams. And that one hits back on. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. Heroes against Ball. Vucevic a screen on Hart. They get a hand on it. And Vucevic gets to DeRozan. Shoots over Embiid. DeRozan trying to get home. And it's Vucevic. Head time on the assist from DeRozan. Boy, DeRozan showing you good recognition there. Saw the gap in the defense and fired the pass to the wide open man. Doesn't get much better than that. Embiid wide open. Not wasting any time and taking the shot and knocking it down. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. Vucevic just screen on Maxi. Here's Levine up and in on the way. What a nice move by Levine. Tremendous handle. Gets him anywhere he needs to go. And then he does the rest of the work from there. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Here's MB. Missile blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a point play. He's looking confident right from the opening tip. Well, Greg, what can you say about Joel Embiid's growth from a leadership perspective? Pretty impressive, isn't it? Tremendous, Kevin. Carrying the Sixers with everything they went through, even though he came in second in MVP voting two years in a row, no player more important to his team than Joel Embiid. the free throw drops for him. When Joel Embiid entered the NBA, many questioned if he would be able to overcome the devastating injury. Well, you know, he didn't play his first two years in the league. Those questions were fair to ask. I mean, is this guy ever going to get on the court? But once he did, oh my, a monster. I've not seen a big guy do the stuff Joel Embiid can do. It's actually insane. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. Harris passes to Harden. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. Here's Embiid. Banked in off the glass. Embiid's got seven points in the game. And we're approaching about three and a half minutes played in the first quarter. Ball dishes to Levine. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Kevin, what's so impressive to me about Levine, it's the all-around play. He affects the game across the board. Bulls have gone two for two in the game at the line. And last season, when they got themselves to the line, they usually came through as a team up around 81%. You know, something you can point to when you're talking about their areas of success last season, free throw shooting. And the first one at the line is good. And Levine's efficient as well. And good shooting numbers, no doubt. Last year, he cut back on the turnovers. And boy, he's still young. There's still tons of upside to be had. And so Levine nails both of them. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Embiid with it. Williams picks him up. 
and Bead kicks to Harris. And Bead sets the pick for Harris. Excellent D there from Williams. And here's Levine who brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. They trail by one. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of the 76ers this year. In this game, just the first of four meetings between these two. They'll get quite familiar with each other by season's end. You know what, guys? I don't know. I, I get the feeling that this could be an interesting matchup this season. This first game will tell us a lot. Now, Thibel following the miss by Lonzo Ball from deep. Just five on the clock. Here's Maxi. A three-pointer, no good. For the 76ers, they're asking the win against the Raptors. The low, low game. Yeah, you know, game balls all around in that one. A terrific team effort. The they trusted the in their system and executed well to get the win. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots of the game right here. it up and this next one could give them the lead hey there's no denying the direction in philly they want to win now the sixers have an attitude coming from their front office that they want to get it done now and i like seeing that and philadelphia making a change here elton's checked in and that one falls and that puts him up by one point and for the 76ers organization the expectation is, of course, Clark, a championship. And that's where the expectation should be when you have a potential Joel MVP Embiid. in Joel Embiid. I mean, he's been an MVP candidate multiple seasons in a row. I think the Sixers should be thinking tight. Here's Williams after the main shot from Joel Embiid. Here's Levine, and it's good assistant in the play with Williams. And it's eight points for Zach Levine. Nice work that time by Levine using his length. He can do damage in there. Harden the pass to Harris. Here's Melton. And out of bounds is Chicago Bears possession. Bulls have gone 50% from the field, hitting three of six since the opening tip. Rosen kicks the ball. There's the dish to Levine. Vucevic setting the pick for DeRozan. Shoots over MB. Here's Vucevic. And Vucevic throws it down. Oh, so smart and relentless on the offensive glass. Seems to me that Vucevic has that extra sense of tracking down missed shots. Seems to just have a nose for the ball. And here's Harris from the arc. And the 76ers get it back. And even without that three ball drop before, the defense should have done more on that last play. Levine dishes to Williams. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established a great inside position. Harden bounce pass. There's Embiid. Fades away and sinks the tough shot. 11 points for Joel and B. Great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to wheel his team back in the game. Count it. Levine, such an outstanding score. Athletic, strong, great confidence in taking it to the rack. No stranger to tough finishes. Here's Melton after the made shot from Zach Levine. Eibel on the wing. DeRozan defending. Embiid with a screen on DeRozan. Here's Bible. That shot off. So the Bulls will take it the other way. And the Bulls with possession. They're on a 12-4 run. Ball finds DeRozan. From 10 feet out. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. You know, Greg, some guys are late bloomers, but DeRozan, he was just the opposite. Yeah, reports are he had handles at age three. First dunk came in the sixth grade. Five-star high school prospect, and in a strange way, he's still an underrated superstar. And he makes the first. 
Bears losing teams, Greg, are looking to rebuild, look to the future, but not in Chicago. Yeah, their idea to turn it around was to get all-stars. <laughs> Trading for Vooch in 21 during a losing season, then signing DeMar as a free agent. That's a refreshing approach. Catching up on the changes for Chicago. Andre Drummond's checked in for Vucevic. Green comes in for Williams. Ayo Dosunu is checked in for Levine. And it's Alex Caruso in for Ball. Boy, the elevated playmaking from DeRozan has been a revelation of late. An all-around threat who still feels underappreciated by many, and I think that drives him quite a bit. A shot by Milton, no good. Chicago with the ball. They're on a 14-4 run right now. Three controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Now, here's Milton. Harrell is setting the pick for Milton. Into the lane. Harrell, that's good. Oh, a great movement by Harrell rolling off the pick that time. Gets himself into a good scoring position there. Now, here's Caruso. Defended by Milton. DeRozan is screen on Milton. Releases from 15. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Now, Milton. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Green passes to DeRozan. Great play by Green to turn it up. And the Bulls lead by nine. Philadelphia's gone 0-4 from three-point land to start out. Looking cold from outside. And here's Melton. He's coming off a 13-point game against Toronto. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the front. Andre Drummond picks one up. In a moment here, take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. Getting downhill has really been impressive to me. Not settling from the outside. They're going right to the rack. And additionally, they're doing a terrific job getting to the line tonight. And they're turning all those trips into early points. Free throw drops from Elton. And Greg, the Philadelphia 76ers have made it very clear that they are all in on a title run. And their front office has been very focused on trying to get top-tier talent on this roster. After the trust the process here, they're now aggressively pursuing titles here in Philly. Melton hits them both. The Bulls leading by seven. Here's Dosumu. No points in the game yet for him. From past the arc. The rebound by Niang. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear. They're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. And that's exactly what he's looking for. Training the triple. Caruso picks to DeRozan. Back to Caruso. Fires from deep. It's no good. Misses his first shot of the night. The 76ers trail by four. Pass to Melton. Here's the pass to the end. Six to shoot. A three. A new 14 for the 76ers. Tucker finds Melton. Two minutes remaining in the first. Here's Neal. They shoot again. And he sinks the layup. Now just a two-point Chicago lead. I like the play call. Very solid. Making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. Here's Dosunu. To the middle. Drummond over Harold. Goes back up. 
And there's the nice layup by Drummond. And the Bulls lead by four. There are few men in the league that attack the glass as well as Drummond does. He's almost unstoppable chasing down second points. He's a tenacious and ferocious offensive rebound. Melton's shot is good. good. Cashing in on the interior, making it look all too easy. Caruso, the pass to DeRozan. Back to Caruso. Bulls moving the ball around. Outside DeRozan. A free ball. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Guys, this hasn't been his quarter. I mean, to me, he just doesn't look completely comfortable or confident. Milton the pass to Harrell. Over Green. And the 76ers take on two more. And that's definitely a shot that he has in his arsenal. Outside DeRozan. To the paint. And stolen by Harrell. Now here's Milton. He's tightly guarded. He kicks it to Tucker. There's 10 seconds left to play here in the first. Niang passes to Harrell. So they take the lead. There you see Harrell's great strength. We call that weight room. Ammonia strong. Leads to the and one. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Montrez Harrell. Shooting one. good from Harrell. You know, what's great about Harrell is his ability to deliver whatever his team needs. I mean, he's the ideal guy to have coming off your bench. A big time effort for Joel Embiid, providing a lot of energy for Philadelphia. He comes away with 11 points in the quarter and is showing no signs of fatigue. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And that one misses. You know, Greg, adding to that for Vucevic, the last two seasons, he's been excellent in the playoffs. Great point, Kevin. His numbers were up over what he did in the regular season. He hits clutch shots, gives them a physical presence, and he is just a rock in the middle. That's off as well, so he misses both. 
Yeah, you know, very quiet. Vucevic puts up phenomenal numbers, consistent. A nightly double-double threat who, you know, bullies opposing defenses on the regular. And they repeatedly froze inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Since Tobias Harris got his big contract with the Sixers, Greg, some say they chose him over Jimmy Butler. And while Tobias is nice, he's never been an all-star. And that's one of the few downsides to a big payday. Some might say he's overpaid. Now, I'm sure he'll take the trade off. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, guys. Now, Tobias Harris has been the leading scorer on teams in the NBA, but on the Sixers, he understands his role is different. He says, I'm not a guy who's going to press the looks. The ball's going to flow how it flows, and I just got to be ready when the opportunity comes my way. That's what winning basketball is all about. Kevin? David, thank you. Here's ball after the main shot from Joel and Levine's shot is off. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pass. Court Mize passes to Maxi. Stolen by Ball. There's Levine. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Lightning move off the dribble. So no one can slide over in time. He beat the help. Results in Levine getting free throws. Bulls have made their free throws at a pretty good clip. They've been 8 of 10. At the line for two. He's off on the first. An all-star caliber talent now in the league. Levine has shown a real fire and hunger to continue to improve. Matisse Thibault checked in for the 76ers. And he sinks the second. Quarter number two, we're about two minutes in. Philadelphia leading by seven. Pass to Embiid. Lots of room. No good that time. So the Bulls will take it the other way. Inside, there's Williams on the slam by Williams. You know, Zach Levine is not just a scorer. He's really good at setting up his teammates, too. And a little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Embiid with a screen on Williams. Harris pitch to Embiid. It's good from long range. Embiid. Embiid's got the lead up to eight now for Philadelphia. Boy, he's just zoned in. I mean, in most cases, taking quality shots very much within the flow of the offense. And Levine, here we go. Some solid defense for Maxi. Boy, that's a look. He has to finish, and he knows it. Long opportunity. It's the bucket. He will not settle for a long jumper if he can get points inside. Harden will take any opening he can get. He exploits what the defense provides. Now here's Williams. Levine from three. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. And so Levine will bring it up now for the Chicago Bulls. It's a 10-point game. There's the triple. And Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. And he's really trying to get them back into it, but the results just have not been. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got three assists in the game. And the Bulls decide to take their first time out here. Well, James Harden's still a tremendous player, but now in his early 30s, some question, can he be the dominant MVP force we saw in Houston?
Brown and check in for Vucevic. Dishes it to Levine. And all the ball is not there, but he gets the call and he will shoot two. That one on Maxie. Levine does a really good job of attacking. He plays with fearlessness and able to draw the foul as a result. For Chicago, they have been shooting right around 75% of the line, 9 of 12 so far. He throw good Levine. Well, as we know, it's here to stay, but people continue to voice their opinion on the play-in tournament format. Uh, where do you fall? I like it, Kevin. I really do. It's creative. It's innovative. It adds a level of excitement, that do-or-die feel that you sometimes don't get and lets us a game seven in the NBA playoffs. I really think it's a good add-on. The 76ers leading by 10. Harden surveying the D. Embiid with a screen on Williams. Harris dishes to Embiid. Good on the shot. Embiid's got 11 here in this quarter alone. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. The Bulls have gone just two of eight shooting here in the second quarter. Levine kicks the ball. Fantastic defender. Embiid is consistent, not only blocking shots, but going after them as well, especially when he's in the air. He's good the 76ers. He's yeah. just nine yeah. in the basket yeah. from Green. Enzo Harden will bring it up for Philadelphia. They've held a 12-point lead early. Eibel with the ball. Working on Green. Embiid sets the pick for Maxi. To answer back, but that three is off the mark. Outside green, Williams up on top. Corner from long range, and the ball is another three. Well, I really think it's important that that shot becomes part of Ball's arsenal. He's got to get comfortable knocking down the three point shot. Bounce pass, Maxi. Kicks it out to Hart from deep. Ball with the rebound. Bulls trail by six. Green passes the ball. And Levine, here we go. And the rejection by Embiid. Scoring efficiency has been low, and it's not helping them on the scoreboard. Uncovered. He gets it in there. And now, 24 points for Joel Embiid. He got to be in awe of what he's doing this quarter. Actually destroying the opponent. Now ball. He has five. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Tyrese That's his fourth foul of the contest. Chicago calls timeout. Chicago timeout call.
DeRozan. He's checked in for Javante Green. Dosumu comes in for Zach Levine. And it's Alex Caruso in for ball. Here's DeRozan, 23 points his last outing. Drummond sets the screen for Caruso. Passes it to Drummond, and stolen by Harrell. Here's Melton. Williams with the defensive effort. Bulls trail by eight. And here is Caruso. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Drummond with a screen on Melton. With the shot. Second chance effort. And that one's good. Drummond. They continue to be outward and outmuscled on the back wall. Guys, it is not that complicated. When the shot goes up, hit and go get. That means hit your man and then go get the ball. Tucker. Off the mark there with a three-point shot. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no cover. No sooner with the pass to Williams. Connick, the Philadelphia lead has been cut down to just four points in the bucket from DeRozan. Look out the body control from DeRozan there, guys. I mean, clearly there's contact, but it's almost impossible to affect his shot. Now, here's Milton. His last outing, he had eight points. Now, here's Caruso, defended by Milton. Drummond working against Harrell. Drummond passes to Dozuma. Over Harrell, here's Drummond, and it's Drummond with the jam. Few players get more dunks than Drummond. He's a center who plays like a traditional center, looking to throw it down every chance he gets. Milton finds Harrell. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. No question. He got on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. The well, 76ers shoot their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. And one of the highlights last year for this group was the fact that they were so efficient from the charity strike. That's a huge factor. And, you know, that just added to their confidence at the offensive end. I mean, knowing that free throw shooting was something they didn't have to worry about gave them a lot of confidence to play freely. He misses the free throw. Oh, probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. That one is no good. And it goes down two points. Niang's got five now. Little plays like that are big plays. They can make all the difference sometimes. Not boxing out on the free throw, an absolute killer. Drummond with a screen on Melton. No sooner with the pass to Drummond. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row. From the and on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Mark Maz, he's jacked in for DeAnthony Melton. One shot. They throw good, Drummond. Here's Milton. Pass to Hill. It's Court Maz. Launches it. Doesn't go, and he's over on from the field. Passes it to Caruso. Back to DeRozan. Six on the shot clock. He shot is good. Scores his third best, in six tries, shooting 50%. You know, the second period's been much more kind to him than the first. I mean, let's see if he can keep it going and maintain this. It's Gordon Mons. He's got 
getting some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And there's the whistle. Three second down. We should be checking the ball. Swimming ball. Checking into the game for your ball. Nicola. And it's DeRozan with the ball for Chicago. I'll be off to Brooklyn for a meeting with the Nets after this one. That'll be just one game played a win from home for that. Pass to Caruso. Two minutes. Roll against Drummond. Outside DeRozan. Latrey. That shot off the mark. And the 76ers go the other way with it. From 15 feet away, no good on the shot, a bit long that time. You know, you'd like to see a little more effort there defensively, but maybe they wanted him to take that shot, baited him into it. That's the Vucevic. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Now, here's Milton. to Korkmaz. The feed to Tucker. The shot. DeRozan with the rebound. Look at him, he's a little hit and miss from there. Even without a defender in his face. No guarantee. Here's the screen. Let's it go with the three. And they hit it back. Second shot opportunity. And it's Drummond missing. 76 is trailing. Courtois gets it to Tucker. On the wing, Milton. Passes it to Niang. Craps in the tray. Niang's got five points in the quarter. With this lead, they're playing confidently, showing a quick trigger from beyond. Yeah, and perimeter shots, though, not really falling at a good clip here. So I think they may have to back out of that a bit and not settle for those jump shots. Really nice job moving the ball around that time, picking apart that deep. It's all tied in Chicago. It's time now to go side of these David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, guys. Joined by Doc Rivers. Coach, what did you think of the effort in the first half? Well, the effort's fine, I guess. Uh, defensively, we got to be better, so that's part of the effort. But they just scored too easy. They're throwing us around. We have so much more of a physical team right now, so we got to pick up our physicality. I'm sure that will be discussed thoroughly before the next half. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thank you, David, for that interview, and we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. Hey folks, we know you're anxious for the first half breakdown, but a surprise start to the show is only fitting with some early season power rankings. Well, right now for Chicago, they take a dip in the power rankings this week. I'm starting to wonder, man, are these guys quite good as we thought they were? Yeah, the season just beginning to take shape, Kenny, but uh, I'm curious like you to see where they are after another few weeks. Switching back now to the Philadelphia 76ers, they've been fighting it out through the first half of play. These guys make plays for one another. They're in harmony out there, putting a lot of stress on their defense. Man, it's hard to get stops when you're scrambling a couple people. Thank you for being with us. Now let's send it to Kevin Harlan for the second half tip. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Joel and B has been sensational. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of him. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Levine into Rosen, the lethal wing pair. 
Williams and Vucevic hold down the post for him. And it's Bump in at the one spot. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Harden against Ball. Harden outside. From the top of the key, he buries it. Harden's got the game tied up here for Philadelphia. Man, it's fun watching Harden use the pick and roll to his advantage. Getting space off the screen and letting it fly with ease. DeRozan passes to Vucevic. Over and beat. And it's Vucevic. That time on the assist for DeRozan. Eight points for Vucevic. And I like the decision making. He's taking what the defense is willing to give him. You know, more and more the guys in the league have that mid-range shot in their bag now. And they need it. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. You know, that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks guys don't last minutes. They last days. Now here's DeRozan. He's got ten. Vucevic finds ball. the wing Levine knocked away Harden outside third quarter here over a minute and a half into it and the pass to Harris Embiid with it Ichovic defending on the clock and he banks in the lane and Embiid's got four this quarter that makes three in a row to start the second half. Levine deciding where to go with it. Pass to Vucevic. He's over and beat. And it's Chicago scoring again. So you look at Vucevic right there. That's clearly a shot that he's worked on. The proof is in the pudding. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. There's Embiid, lays it up off the glass. And that's now 30 points for Joel Embiid. A strong work for him at the offensive end, helping them to maintain that lead. And NBA All-Defense for two years running, Matisse Thibel has been a game-changing defender from the minute he started. Well, we know Levine has the hops. That time showing off the creativity. And that's life above the rim, courtesy of our AT&T 5G Slam King. Ball against Harden, pass to Harris, on the deep. Chicago grabs the miss. Vucevic has got rebound number seven for him tonight. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound and advantage is starting to add up. Yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the board, we're certainly seeing the effort. But only the first miss of the second half. They've come out here with authority. And here we go. That's great. Levine's got it. That gives them the lead. 17 points for Zach Levine. Yeah, and this is a guy who really flies up the court. Tough to shadow Levine in transition. Embiid from outside. No good there. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Their biggest hit of the game was not. One made three for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. Harden dishes to Harris. Passes to Fiber. Milton with the ball. Kicks it to Embiid. The three from Harden. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Harden's got seven points. Intelligent ball movement that time from Embiid. Getting it to a guy with a better shot. Chicago calls timeout. Joel Embiid with a strong contribution in this one. Yeah, and he's been taking it to the rack all game. And they haven't been able to contain him. They have to put up better fight on the inside.
Williams checked in. The 76ers also with the sub. Axie's checked in for DeAnthony Melton. Here's Vucevic, 10 points for him. Ball, the pass to Vucevic. This is to Levine. The kick out to Ball. Down to five on the shot clock. It's called in by the 76ers. And Beach got nine rebounds in the game, heading it back. The pass to Harris. And B with the screen on DeRozan. Here's Harris. Pass to Embiid for the three. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Three. Harden's got five assists in the game. Yeah, how about the percentage? They're shooting from beyond the arc here in the second half. No question about it. They found a nice rhythm for B. Here's Ball. Takes it inside. It counts. And the foul. Defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for the 76ers. They've been the better team on the post all game long. Whenever they worked it in low, they've been able to find success. And another thing they've been exceptional at is their passing. On-target ball movement has gotten them a lot of assists tonight. And that one misses. And at 6'6", ball, very similar to Jason Kidd in terms of the vision that he plays the game with. His IQ is off the charts. Now, here's Fleibel. Not a lot of room. Back to Harden. Takes the three. No good. Shot missing. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Harden against Ball. Vucevic setting the pick for DeRozan. Pass to Vucevic. Takes a three. That one is good again. He sits right from the floor with the basket. Well, it's been a work in progress, but it actually has paid dividends. Vucevic has worked hard to become a legitimate three-point shooter. Bible kicks to Harris. And B with the screen on green. And here's Harris from the arc. Ball with the rebound. Ball's got his fourth rebound with that last one. Looks it out. Now the dish to Levine. From the arc. Rebound by the 76ers. Hey, how about imagining if they were hitting their shots, how big the lead could be? But so far, that's not been the case. Harden the pass to Embiid. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got his sixth assist on the night. Chicago has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over.
Williams checked in for Vucevic. Dosumu comes in for DeMar DeRozan. And it's Alex Caruso in for Lonzo Ball. Philadelphia also making some changes. Harrell, he's checked in for Joel Embiid. P.J. Tucker comes in for Harris. And it's Moss in for Matisse Thibel. to It doesn't go for him. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. The battle to a standstill on the boards has really been something to watch. The game's not over yet. We'll see if one of these teams maintain more energy than the other going down the street. Levine finds Caruso. That's good. And it's Levine with the assist. Caruso's got his first three points of the game. And good execution by Levine with the pass. I mean, showing improved leadership skills. Mr. Tucker. Maxi looking it over. Back to Tucker. That's the three fly. Caruso grabs the miss. We know how good a shooter he is. It's frustrating for him when he's not able to knock down that kind of wide open look. Right side, Levine. That one off the back iron and out. Wow, I'm surprised. I thought that was definitely automatic. Up again. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Pretty clear. It's smash mouth basketball. Found that thing inside. That's the drumming. And here is Dosumu. Passes it to Levine. To the inside. Shot clock at six. And that one's good. Drummond. When Drummond's points come, they tend to come inside. He's got a lot of ways to beat you down low. Harden against Caruso. Harden right side. Harden draws the double. It's a nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Here's Gordon Miles. Harden by the knee. And the shot by the first player. 24 second violation. Green in front of you now is a list of the players with the highest shooting percentage last season. In the third spot, Montrez Harrell. Put the ball in the bucket. I mean, that's the name of the game, right? I mean, just ask him. He'll have the answer for you. Bulls leading by three. Just a solid contributor. Work by speech his size at the guard position, and he can shoot it. He really can. I love the way he strokes it. Cork a very, very capable scorer. And he can get his points within the flow of the offense. And the other thing I like, he can make tough shots, too. And there's the pass to Maxi. He feeds it to Hart. Two minutes remaining. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Hart is so smart at creating opportunities to get to the free throw line. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Chicago. Well, you know, for me, when you can convert this many times in the paint, I think that's a sign that your offense is really in a healthy state. And another thing they've been doing all game long is knocking down the three. Shooting has been a big part of their game plan tonight. That free throw, no good. You know, he can be your primary scorer, but he also can be your primary playmaker offensively. Harden does everything at a diamond level. Oh. 
He hits the second from the line. And Caruso's got the ball here for Chicago. The lead is two. Drummond working against Terrell. There's Levine. Here's Drummond. Good for another basket. He's put up ten shots and made seven of them. They've gone out of their way to involve Drummond in this offense, and I think that's really kept him engaged. It's to Harden. The 76ers with another miss. The Bulls leading by four. Here he goes. Goes somewhere. Here's the pass to Drummond. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Well, I think he did plenty of damage nonetheless. I mean, it was only with one hand, but he still threw that down pretty hard. Now the Bulls with it. They're on a 17-7 run. Bobbed up there for Drummond. Levine, good. Levine's got nine points here in the second half. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working in inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. As to Tucker, jacks up a three. A three-pointer is right on target. Tucker's got five points now in the quarter. This is a shot Tucker has in his bag. The defense has to know that. Levine kicks to Caruso. 24 seconds left to play in the third. Good work defensively by Harden. At six. From deep three point range, and that one released in time, but no good. And so it's Zach Levine making things happen for the Bulls. And of everything he's doing well, it's his scoring that you point to first. Already 22 points in this game. And we'll be right back after this. the game presented by State Farm. And he sliced the D wide open with this speed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. The time is here. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. That's for me what this is the beginning of the fourth. So with Harden on the bench, here's the foul for Matt Rivers right now. On the block, it's so Tucker the next to Embiid. The Anthony Melton out there with Maxi. The and it's Harris in at the three set. Chicago leading by three. Ball surveying the defense. Caruso sets the screen for Ball. Outside to Rosen. Shot clock at six. The kick out to Bolt. Oh, good on the triple. The 76ers trail by three. Outside, Maxi. Harris outside. Here's MP. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Harris has got four assists in the game. And for the Bulls, they're shooting straight 49% from the field. Nice move. Down to the hoop it goes. That's his good work on nine shots from the floor. You know, I look at DeRozan, and one of the things I like most about this game is that he really employs the mid-range shot. And it's a lost art for most other players. Here's Embiid. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Embiid's got 41. And the D not really doing its job there. A little slow to react to the ball. Getting into the paint. Ball, the pass to DeRozan. Vucevic a screen on Harris. Takes it from 10. Bang shot. No good. That's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration too. 
Pass to Tucker. Outside, Maxi. There's MB. To Maxi. Over Williams. Maxi, no good. The Bulls with the lead. Outside, ball. 17 foot shot on the way. And DeMar DeRozan, the bucket on the assist by Ball. You know, in these particular plays, guys, DeRozan really excellent at taking what he sees in these situations. Embiid with a screen on Caruso. Embiid kicks to Maxi. Here's Tucker. Here's Harris. Vucevic with the rebound. Vucevic has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Ball against Melton. The pass to Caruso. Bulls moving the ball around. Here's Vucevic. Through it. And it's DeRozan picking up the assist. DeRozan's got four assists now tonight. And so it's Maxi who brings up the ball for Philadelphia. So far in the fourth quarter, they belong to six points. Here's Embiid. Good. Nothing but that. Embiid's got 43 points. And he's coming up big here in the clutch. Composed under pressure, and he's now four for four here in the fourth. DeRozan, a screen on Melton. Ball, the pass to Caruso. To the paint, here's Vucevic. Up and no good. Rose's field goal percentage down to 70% and 10 shots. Stolen away. Caruso kicks the ball. On deep. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Harris has got his fourth rebound in this one. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Melton passes to Maxi. Down low. Here's Embiid. And the layup's good off the glass. Embiid's got 45 points. You know, with all he does offensively, his size, Joel Embiid, is like a cheat code, special talent. Williams has a screen for DeRozan. Over Harris. DeRozan's shot is off. The 76ers have gone 5 of 7 from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor. Pass to Tucker. And here's Embiid. Vucevic defending to take the lead. And Embiid well, lays it in. 47 points for Joel Embiid. Boy, Tucker ever unselfish in how he goes about his game. Nice job finding his teammate there. To DeRozan. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Tyrese Mason. That's his fifth block. And you've got to be more careful in that situation. That's his fifth foul. And now he's walking a fine line. And Philadelphia making a change here. Eibel's checked in. And it's Caruso, top of the key. Here's DeRozan. And then B with the block. They recover it. Just three to shoot. Tries again. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Maxi with it. Pass to Bible. Now here's MB. He's guarded by Williams. In the corner, it's Melton. From outside, off the mark. Chicago trailing here. Outside, ball. Beats to Vucevic. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assist. DeRozan's got his fifth assist in this one. For Philadelphia, they've gone six of nine on their field goal attempt since the start of the fourth quarter. This is it to Harris. To the right side. And they double up in B. Maxi finds in B. Five on the clock. Bible can't get it to go. Chicago has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Look at this little fella going in there and eating up some glass. Outside, Maxi. Now the pass to Melton. Pass to 
pass to Harris. The three. Knocks down the three ball. And the 76ers three lead by two. Boy, this is something that Harris has really enhanced in this game over time. Hard work, paying dividend. Vucevic is screen on Maxi. Caruso gets to DeRozan. Poked away and stolen by Thibel. Maxi with it, now guarded by Vucevic. 13 feet away, and the 76ers tag on two more. Well, that's a sweet spot for Harris, guys. I mean, all he needs is a little separation, and he's good to go. Pass to Caruso. Vucevic is screen on Maxi. Here's Caruso, and the rejection by Embiid. And another miss. Oof. He's having a really ugly game. Yeah, about as ugly as you can have, you're right. out a bit. The jump hook. And it's Chicago with the rebound. Rosen's got his fourth rebound with that pass for him tonight. Ball against Melton. Ball to pass to Caruso. Vucevic with the bucket. Vucevic has got 15 points here in the second half alone. Vucevic really, you know, he has the ability to dominate on the offensive end. That's why he's an all-star caliber center. And Philadelphia calls time here. And during this timeout, I'm sure they'll be hydrating themselves with Gatorade. All the effort out there on the floor. And these timeouts can be such a huge factor in getting a short rest and recharging the battery. also making some changes. P.J. Tucker comes in for Harris. And it's Harden in for DeAnthony Melton. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, during the last break, I heard Doc Rivers talking with his team. His concern was both their inconsistency and their amount of three-point shots. He said, let's move the ball for good shots. If you have an open three, take it. Otherwise, let's attack the rim and put some pressure on these guys. Kevin? Thank you, David. So it's Philadelphia now. They've held a 12-point lead early. He finds Heibel. Drummond working against Embiid. And they double up Embiid. Lock it four. Here's Maxi. Another miss by Philadelphia. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. And, you know, you can sense his frustration. This is going to be a test of his resolve here. Some nice ball movement here by the bowl. Drummond sets the screen for DeRozan. And he hits it to tie the game up. Turning up the temperature on his intensity that time. DeRozan getting it done in the big time moment. Passes it to MB. to Harden. And there's the try. And that one good. Harden's got 10 points.
Saints here in the second half. Boy, he's having a great half here. Exactly the opposite of the first. Chicago calls timeout. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. Back to Harden. From 
15 feet away. It's Drummond with the rebound. Drummond's got rebound number eight now on the night. Posing this is the ball. There's a minute 47 left in the game. Oh, and he can make them pay for that personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for Chicago. Rides on the ball. Two shots. the first one, and that will put them up by two. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. He missed the chance to put him up by three. You know he'd like to have that move back. Picks to Harden. There's the pass to Embiid. Over Drummond. That one, a little line. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for Chicago. Their biggest lead of the game was not. Now here's Levine. He got Tucker. Drilled the three point. Levine's got 12 points in just the second half. And there you go now, one of the NBA rising stars, Levine stepping up. There's Embiid, plays it up and puts it in. Embiid got 49 points in the game. Joel Embiid on top of things there, folks, recognizing the big possession and commanding the ball. Levine against Maxi. Drummond with a screen on Maxi. Something like that is why he leads his team in rebounds tonight. I tell you what, guys, nobody's been more physical in this game than he is. He has been a glass eater. And they double up in B. To the middle. Here's Thunder. You can't get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was one, two. He wanted the ball. Nobody else was taking that shot. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on to his and so he's picked up his final foul. He leads it for the rest of this game. Catching up on the charges of Ryan Philadelphia. Harris comes in for DJ Tony. And then we'll have the club in for May 2. That's the first. Now they put them up by two. And all the being has to do is not let the pressure get to him. Just take his time. Second one is good. In both at the line. It's a good one again. Big time free throws there. Yeah. That could be the difference. It forces them now into a three-point attempt. And Philadelphia calls time here. They trail by three. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. <laughs>
27 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Castro and B. Shoots a fader. Rebound by the Bulls. Two and for long the game here with an intentional foul. Yeah, that's right. No other time should have been a foul. Yeah, they have to extend the game. I mean, plain and simple. You can use every second you can on the clock here. Two shots. We got this. We got this. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreaker. And he ends up missing both free throws. Ouch. Boy, was that painful. That was basically just a choke job. I hate to say it. Could have put this game on ice, but he didn't. And now the foul is done the clock. You have the foul, but I'm sure it looked like the foul was somewhat different. They didn't really have a, another option. I mean, I thought they did a nice job getting it in his hands and making sure he was the guy who could go to the line. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. They lead by three. Six seconds left to play in the final quarter. from the arc. And so it's Chicago winning this one. It was up for grabs right until the final seconds. Yeah, and in the week, Kevin, what stood out is just the overall trust was no pass in one another what it mattered most. Or what had to be done and the Sippies fans hold happy. And Chase Rowdy sends it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Jamar, big effort tonight. What is the state of mind of this club right now? We're focused in and on the defense again. We know if we get stops, we can definitely score whenever we want. And you got it done tonight, Jamar. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Alden. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now our New Balance player of the game. Andre Drummond.